Judge destroys another. That ball is long gone. My goodness, what a blast. Out of the ballpark. Wow. So here comes the judge. All right, Aaron, thank you, man. Appreciate this. This is awesome. I've been wanting to get into KZU for a while. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Glad you can make it out, man. We're going to have some fun in here. So tell me the routine you go through pregame to get yourself ready for a game. Yeah, my routine, pretty, pretty simple. You know, I don't like to take too many swings pregame or kind of getting ready for BP. So I like to do a little T work to get things started. For me, that's like the most basic thing. If I'm trying to work on something mechanical with the T, like the ball's not moving. So I can really feel my body and feel my moves. You know, from the tee, go to a little side toss, uh, make sure my attack angle to the baseball is correct. You know, I like to keep like that oppo approach. Like I'm trying to basically take the, the hat off the second baseman or for us at Yankee Stadium, like I want to drill a ball, like a line drive into our bullpen. So that kind of keeps my angle right. And then we go to straight on flips and get a little work there. And then, hey, it's, it's game on. All right, you ready? Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's do it. <laughs> that ball is. against the back of the Yankee bullpen wall. For me, drills are all about feel, like what you're feeling. Like what do I, what do I need to work on today to get me right? And I uh, just kind of start middle. I'll kind of move it away, move it up and in. Just kind of simulate different pitches maybe I'll get during the game, you know. This is just a uh-oh uh fastball that I'm hoping guys, guys throw me, you know. Yeah. Let's take this ball right back up the middle, huh? Yeah, just easy, just something kind of feel where my body's at, feel where my swing's at for the day, and then kind of adjust off of that based on who we're facing tonight, where my bat's like last night, what am I feeling right now, so uh, simple, simple. So when you set the tee, you set it clearly out in front of you. A lot of people set it back too far. When did you get to the point where you set it right where it's at? You know, I, I kind of mess around. I kind of like go in like this little diagonal line of like, if I'm getting a pitch away, I'm usually maybe going to make contact here or maybe right out here. So I just want to, I've done a couple drills with the tee back here. You yeah. know, if I'm feeling like I'm getting into the zone too steep or, you know, I'm not getting in the zone early enough to like have plate coverage that, you know, I'll back some balls up here and just kind of get a good feel for it. You know, I see a couple of guys, Bo Bichette, I see him, I'm in right field and I see him all day. Like, I feel like he's catching the ball out of the catcher's glove and he's hitting it over my head in right field, so. Judge is on the run, he's not gonna get it. Stand up double. So obviously you're not worried about any park being too big for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all, not at all. But I found it interesting, you were talking about you want to take this ball and hit a line drive at the second baseman's head. And yeah, basically if, if, if I'm trying to, if you're playing second base, I'm trying to take your hat off and I basically want to Take your hat off, but I want that to keep going into our bullpen at Yankee Stadium right there in right. Yeah. So for me, that keeps me keeps me down through the baseball. You know, I watch a lot of Arenado, and like, it amazes me when he swings. Like the ball's out this way, but his head and his body's still here at the plate. Arenado with a drive in the deep left. It's at the wall. Gone. The stadium erupts. I love seeing that. So for me, my mindset that helps me keep that is like, if I'm trying to hit a, doesn't matter where the pitch is, if my first move in directions towards that second baseman and like hitting a line drive through him, I feel like it just keeps my bat path clean. Let's see if Judge delivers here. Line drive, it's a base hit to right field. And we are underway with a Judge single. And the thing I found is a ball away like that keeps your head there. It's easier to do that on the ball there instead of here. We have a tendency to go like this a little bit more. Exactly, right? exactly. So that's why for me, the, the inside pitch, if I'm still keeping that direction in my mindset, the second base and the pitch is in, and I have that mindset, like I'd rather, I feel like I can get beat, especially playing at home. I can get beat inside or beat jammed and still get rewarded with maybe, you know, a homer on a good day or, you know, something over the infield. and. I never want to try to manipulate my swing because sometimes when you manipulate it, that's when you say you kind of pull back, you know, you kind of pull off the ball. So just trying to keep it, keep it simple and straight through. I noticed last year or two last couple of years, we talked about this, that inside pitch, you start pulling a lot more. Yeah. What did you notice when you started uh, pulling this ball? You know, for me, it more started in my setup. 
You know, in, in years past, my hands have kind of been more, like they couldn't see the pitcher, is what I like to say. Like I want my hands to see the pitcher, because then I feel like I have an easy lane to go oppo, middle, and inside. So in years past, when my hands would be kind of up back here, you know, then I'd load. Well, dang, how, how am I gonna try to get 97 on the inside corner? Like I gotta get my hands into a position, then I gotta try to take that swing, and by that time, 97, and especially if it's sinking, moving, riding, it's, by. it's by me, you know? So, so how did you get to where you were able to move your hands out? You know, I just got into a position where I almost, like, my setup, I want to get in this position to where if I had to swing from right here, I could. You know, I yeah. feel comfortable where, like, hey, I could, if, if he quick pitches me or does something, I know I can, I can take a swing from this position. So then now it's from, okay, here I can swing from, now just lift your leg and yeah, add and, a little bit more. Load, and your load, do that again real quick, because your load goes right, now your hands are here. Before they were back here. They were back here. So now yeah. I got this open lane to where, okay, it's 97 in, well, you know, my hands are right here. I, I can. I can go straight through the baseball and not have to make an extra move or waste any time. And you know the game's speeding up, man. You did gotta... you find? Did you find also when you you go here, you can still be able to go inside out if you need to, too, right? Oh, 100%. Because my mindset is still still to that second baseman, so I never lost that. You know, so I still am in a good position. I'm I'm still in a loaded position, so I can. If I need to fire and go that way, I'm. I got that all day. High drive, right center field. There it goes. It's a judging blast to right center into the bullpen. I love it. I love let's, do, it. let's do one more here and go to some side talks. Okay. There you go. All right. Now with the side toss, where do you like the ball flip to on side toss? You know, if you're just kind of angling towards like kind of my back hip, I won't hit Shoot, you. I'm gonna throw that jump. I won't hit there. you. <laughs> <laughs> hitting me. No. Yeah, just anywhere, anywhere middle. That's fine. If this is it for me, I'm just letting you know it's been fun. <laughs> All right, here we go. So I noticed the lean back. When did you start that? Well, you're throwing it at my ankles, Harold. Well, yeah, you okay, got to get it sorry, up a little man. bit. Come on now. I'm trying. Not, I'm trying not to get killed. <laughs> that better? That's better. Tell That's me better. where you want it. Tell me. Just show me with the it's back. Right here. Let's right, get it right there. Up there. All right. Perfect. See, I'm giving you some rhythm. That's perfect. See, that's perfect. See, I wish it was that easy in the game. I could just tell the pitcher, like, hey, like, <laughs> throw it right here. My goodness. But for this, for this drill, like, having the angle come in here, I feel like I gotta. It just keeps my direction going towards you. Yeah. Like everything is this way. Like my barrel is getting in the zone through here. It's just an easy. Like I do five or six here, and then. Kind of go to my front side. I gotta and, admit, I'm kind of scared with you doing that. Cause usually, if I'm doing, I'm throwing that junk and you're pulling it. You ain't hitting me. Let's do one I'll more. I'll give you one more. Let's see what you got. And that's the one right there. Yeah, that's get that one. one on there. Get that one. <laughs> that was the one. That one's driven deep to left field. There's a flight. See ya. A long home run for Judge. All right. So now front toss. What 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 do you try to do here? Front toss. I do now. I'm, Adding the variability of where the ball is going to be, you know, yeah. it's not on a, it's not sitting on a tee for me. It's not easy side toss just coming into my bat path. So now just you tossing it wherever. I like to go in and out. I like to change speeds here. I can test you now. Yeah, let's you, now see you can if test you me. Good. Now let's see if the tee work and the side toss is working. Let's see what you got. You can count on me staying behind this screen. Oh, that's nice right there. I'm looking at your hands, what you were talking about. Yeah, just staying in a good spot here to where, like, I can fire whenever I want. Like, I feel like at times in my career before, I was so focused on, like, my load and, like, my hands moving and, like, getting a good stretch that I'd lose that feeling of, like, being able to swing. Because there'd be so many times a pitcher would come in and be like, how did I take that? It's right down the middle. But my body knew it wasn't in a good position to swing from. So now, no matter what, before you even throw it, I, I can swing from here. So. 97, you know, 30 miles an hour on a flip, we're ready to go. There you go. With the front toss to kind of help with my load and feeling comfortable being early, I like to do a couple, kind of a hang drill. Like I basically get in my position where I'm hanging, yeah. I'm on this back side, and I kind of go off of you. Now when you go to toss, that's when I get into that position and kind of like coaches talk about like that slow and early, like yeah. this. I'm slow and I'm early in this position. So now, if I fast forward to the game, like my normal stride, 
Oh, I, I feel like I got all, all the time in the world. I'm like, dang, I, I was starting right here and really having to hold it and use my, you know, my back muscles, my glutes. But now, like, it just simplifies everything for me. I'm doing the extreme to bring it down to yeah. normal. normal now, and that's the purpose of a drill, right? Yep. Love it. All right. There you go. You know, the, the interesting thing about this, too, is everybody talks about get your foot down, right? Well, yep. you're going to get it down. It's going to go down. I'm not going to swing like this. I ain't going to swing like that. It's, no. it's going gonna, it's gonna to go down eventually. That was nice right there. Yeah, one more. All right. Oh, that's the one I wanted. I want to see if you're going to turn on me on that. You know that you hit that one nice. <laughs> you know you hit that one nice. All right, that's awesome. So that's the little routine. Yeah, that's it. That's it. Yeah, appreciate sure. you, man. Always. 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 Thank Always. you. Always. Great. Does that work? Can't man. beat it. That's perfect. <laughs>